right now, there is a revolution that's going on. A new industry that is going to be disrupted. And many, many industries are going to be disrupted. But I want to share with you a couple of ways for you to make money using Kindle. Now, full disclosure, I was producing Kindle books, personal development. I had friends that were creating novels. And I want to show you the best way to create passive income using Kindle and the power of chat GPT and artificial intelligence. This is the easiest way for you to do it. And I'm going to show you a high level overview on the steps that you need to do in order to generate at least a thousand dollars per month. Okay. I'm going to show you how to start the business, what to look for, where to find developers or ghost writers is what I did. I found, I looked for ghost writers, but now the game has been changed and I'm going to show you how to do that with a very, very little amount of money. If you don't have money and if you do have money, it's going to be easier for you because you can just hire people. But this channel is focused on opportunities to make money online. And I'm going to be sharing that with you using the new technologies that we have now access to. So it was back in 2015. I was looking for a few opportunities to make money online. And the best way for me to do that during that time was Kindle. I didn't want to sell an Amazon item by flip and hold because you were you're going to need money i didn't want to go out i didn't want to look for items i wanted to collect that passive income this is a digital asset and till today even today i'm still receiving royalties from the books that i have created years and years ago so it's really passive i took a course and I paid a course. It was very helpful. I had a way first. I, I wanted to learn the fastest and the quickest way to make money. And the best way to do that is from learning from someone who has already achieved what you want to achieve. Let's shortcut the process, right? I didn't want to go into a YouTube university. I just need a step-by-step -step how to set everything up, how to set up the Kindle, tax forms, etc. where to find, where to find the ghostwriters, how to position myself, and all of those things. So that's, that's basically my story and how I got started. Now, Kindle is still an amazing platform. If you publish a book, and the reason why it's really, really powerful is because of you can make tons of money, passive income, and you already have buyers on that platform. If people are on Amazon, they are more likely going to shop and look for something to buy. So there's buyer's intent already. Now it's a matter of positioning yourself and getting the, the ranking so that you can have a lot of views on your books and then you can have a lot of royalties. Amazon is, has a huge ecosystem, huge eco ecosystem. And having your business in Amazon is very, very powerful and it can drive a lot of momentum. Now, there's two routes of doing this. The first things first is I need to educate you on what Kindle is. If you don't know what Kindle is, it's a popular e-reader from Amazon, right? And basically, it's opportunities. It's an opportunity for you, writers, authors, looking to sell their work. Now, you can publish it as an e-book, 
or the actual hard copy. You have two choices. What you need to do first is you need to first plan and strategize. You need to plan and strategize on what kind of book you want to release. You have to do the research. Do you want to release a book that's going to be focused on personal development, focus on a specific niche with it, and then you want to focus on a sub niche, right? Fitness and fitness can go into bodybuilding. You can go into fat loss, or if you want to publish a children's book, or more importantly, a romance novel. So whatever, whatever route you decide to go, there's no right or wrong route. It's just a matter of doing your research and then creating a book idea. Now, once you have a book idea, what you want to do is you want to then create a chapter or chapters. So let's let's use this as an example. I publish self-development books. I created chapters, one, two, three, four, five, ten chapters. And before what I did was I hired a ghostwriter. I paid them X amount of dollars per hour. And they wrote me a book. One of my friends, he created a novel. He paid about $1,000 right, to write that book. You don't need to publish the book in your name. You can publish the book in a ghost writer's name or in a different name. Because if you don't want to be tied to that book, you can publish as a ghost author. So you have that route. And this is what makes GPT an amazing opportunity is because you can just write everything. You can write everything using the chat GPT. If you haven't already used the chat GPT, then I highly suggest that you play around with it. There's many, many ways for you to use chat GPT. You can create novels. You can tell it to have a storyline. You can choose topics, blogs, and that does the heavy lifting for you when it comes to creating the book. The hardest part to create or to do in this particular process is writing the book. Then you have the cover, which is easy to do. You can even use AI to create a cover. Or what I did was I used Canva. And if you want a professional cover, you can definitely hire somebody else. For my professional books, I hired a ghostwriter and I hired a, a designer to create the cover of the book. Now there's certain formats that you have to do and you have to create in order for to be published on Kindle. And they have the structure for that. Once you have the book, right, obviously you're going to organize it. You can hire somebody to proofread it. But I'm showing you the best ways to do it. One, research on the book that you want. Number two, use ChatGPT to create a topic create chapters, expand on those chapters, and now you put it together and eventually you will have a book. Once you have that, then you're going to be uploading it on Kindle. And once you upload it on Kindle, you have to choose the right category with the right keywords. This is a very important thing for you to do is choose the right category because you don't want a vegan book that is going to be placed in front of meat eaters, carnivore diets, right? There's a mismatch. So you wanna make sure that you utilize the right keywords so that you are going to be found in the right way at the right place. And you can start pricing your books. I suggest you start it off with 99 cents to between 99 cents to 2.99. I started off mine as $2.99 and then you collect royalties, you can increase the price. For the hardcover, you can increase, the, you can charge $10, $20, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1
right? 10 to $20 is a sweet spot. And you can also put this book. Uh, you can hi put it on Audible. You can hire a contractor or you can split the royalties with them. This is a few things that you can do. Once your book is out, then you promote it and watch the money come in, right? In order for you, for this, your, your book to have success, what you need to do is you need to have a book that needs to be getting reviews. You need to constantly promote your book. You can set up a Twitter account. You can set up, uh, you can give it to people. You can promote it in, in, in communities. The most important thing is that you continuously get traction on your book so you can have a higher ranking. There's only a certain window that you have so that because in that certain window, if your book is performing well, then you're going to have an increased ranking. With this strategy, what I want you to do is you need to release 10 books, 10 books. Uh, in the beginning, what I did was I released three books. One did really great. One was okay. And one did not turn out well. Right? It's the law of averages. So I want you to release 10 books. And I'm for sure with those 10 books, you're going to have a success. Once you, once you make 10 books, then set to release another 10 books. Back when I was creating my books, the ghost writer took about approximately one week to write the book. For it, from the beginning to the finish, because I went over it, I reviewed it, there's a couple of changes, we went back and forth with the changes. With ChatGPT, you can get that done within hours. You can get that done with less than an hour. So it's very important that you can get this task done. And then eventually, once you have that, then you can just create, rinse and repeat. So that's the process. If you create a large amount of books, then a large amount of library with the steps that I outlined, with the words, with the pricing, and then the promotion, then that's your blueprint to make $3,000 per month. That's pretty much a summary. Quick high level overview. If you need any, if you have any questions regarding to this, put it in the comment. I'll be able to answer your questions. Like I said, I use this Kindle back in 2015 and I'm still making royalties from the books that I created. This is a really passive income. And you can have the same opportunity because this is a digital asset. As long as Amazon is up, you're going to make money. And Amazon is not going anywhere in the next few years. I guarantee you that. Apply. Let me know. Once you are making money, let me know. Because ChatGPT just made everything easier. It made content, creating content faster. It made writing book easier. You made writing a cover easier and you can spit out content. You can spit out books days, hours, right? And if you want to work on this on a mass production when it comes to libraries and books, you can even hire virtual assistants or a team to create books for you. But with that being said, that's my, that's my tutorial on how to make money with Kindle. And we're using ChatGPT, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Subscribe for more.